So Sean post match against Met Police. Um, chances are plenty again, but the role, result isn't there. Uh, what what will happen there? How do you assess that game? Broken record, I think. But what I will say, it's probably one of the best performances we've had this season. And people might sit and not who are not here and see that and go, I don't know how you see that, but we totally dominated the game. Really, we got punished for two of our errors again. Two errors. Two errors. They scored two goals. The first one. Um, obviously from a corner, but the corner was no need because we had it under control and then obviously gave away the cheap corner and then got sucker punched with it. And then, um, you know, just basic defending on the halfway line. And listen, Finn's a 17, 18 year old kid who's done great for us, but, you know, he has to learn the hard way. If you make silly mistakes, you're going to get punished. And, and we got punished from it, but we didn't punish them. You know, we had so many chances. Um, and when it ain't going for you, it ain't going for you. I mean, how we haven't got a penalty in the first few minutes for a foul on Danny Hollands, I don't know. But you don't get it. Sometimes you don't get it. And um, like I just said to the lads in there, the only people who can get us out of the, the rut we're in at the moment is us. If you keep playing like that, it will change. I believe the harder you work, the luckier you become. Um, and it's just not happening at the moment. But, you know, we're the only people who can get out of it. Um, the group of players and myself, no one else can help. So you know, we know that. Um, we'll have to keep fighting and, and scrapping. You know, we're... OK, points, we've lost points tonight in the league, but in the, our league position wasn't too bad before tonight. I don't know what it is now, how many teams are around us, but there's still a lot to play for. But we need to turn that corner and turn it quickly. Um, tensions rose a little bit. We saw yourself get a yellow card, Harvey Rue get a yellow, and then your assistant manager gets sent off as well. Uh, what happened there? I got a yellow card simply because there was a fracker, which I'm stood at the other end of the bench. Uh, and I'm, in, I'm the manager, I'm in control of the bench. I have nothing to do with it. So Harvey Rue got a yellow card, as you saw the tackle on Billy Basari, which was naughty. Um, Harvey Root just ran in, I think, to protect him. But listen, I don't want to talk about officials. It's, um, I, I don't think the, uh, as I said before, I think officials need to be accountable for certain things. And um, some of the things that went on tonight, not good, but there we go, you know. Jake Wigley, no idea. Their, their referees said, um, it's, it's even not worth commenting on, apart from the fact we've got the VO. It's right there, the VO will pick up everything. Um, and then we'll prove that Jake Wigley never said anything what the referee or wherever, he got, wherever he's got from um, you know, to prove his innocence because it's not Jake, he's not like that at all. So, uh, you know, but um, you know, I want to talk about football. I don't want to talk about referees and linesmen. Um, but as I say, disappointed. Of course we are. You know, it's, um, it's another loss away from home. Uh, and to play that well and to create that many good chances, I mean, you know, it's, it's frustrating massively. And lastly, just back to football, as you say, um, in the 77th for the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, you sacrificed the two pacey lads on the wing in Baggy and um, and Basari for Pato and Harvey Bradbury. What was the thinking? Well, both dead on their feet, to be fair. I didn't want to sacrifice them. If I had two wingers to put on, I would have put two wingers on, but I didn't. Billy's been out, in, uh, obviously, for a long time. He's been ill all weekend and last week. Um, so he'd run his race and Baggy was blowing as well. And, you know, as I say, without any wingers on the, on the bench, I had to change the shape of the team. And just chuck two centre forwards on and, and had a go, and on another day we might have got something back. But um, it's difficult, you know. They're they're scrapping, met police, and, and you know, as I say, they scrapped out and, and managed to hold on to that. I think we, we at least deserved the point, but for me, on on the chances and the, you know possession, we uh, we should have won the game. But you can't keep saying the same things, you know, and it's and that's the frustration with it. And people need to learn quickly, and um, you know. If they don't, you know, we're not going to keep. We're not going to win football matches. So, as I say, I'm bitterly disappointed with it. But we'll go again. You know, I'm not a person who's going to get my head down. I'm going to keep going and keep fighting. I work, as I said, I've worked too hard for two years uh, to build this up to where it is. You know, every football club in in the land, I think, has a sticky spell, and we're having one at the moment. We need to get out of it quickly.